Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another section of our course end-to-end -end web automation testing with Cypress. And in this video, we're talking about working with XHR. What is XHR? XHR stands for XML HTTP Request. It's an API in the form of an object whose method transfers data between a web browser and a web server. So the object is provided by the browser's JavaScript environment particularly retrieval of data from XHR for a purpose of continually modifying a loaded web page is underlying concept of Ajax design. And despite the name, XHR can be used with protocols other than HTTP and data can be in the form of not only XML, but also JSON, HTML and or plain text. So as you can see, this text is something I have taken from Wikipedia and it really makes a lot of sense because it's very, very precise and very, very clear to actually understand what is XHR is all about. And you can see that XHR is something most of the people know already. And now people are actually using window.fetch to perform the operation instead of XHR. And this window.fetch is something, an upcoming feature of Cypress, which Cypress team are currently working on because a lot of developers are now using the window.fetch rather XHR to uh, work with because it seems like the window art fetch is even more faster, more asynchronous, and it is very easy to play around with the objects. That's why people are moving towards window art fetch rather XHR, but this XHR is there for a long time and a lot of browsers currently support XHR, but window art fetch is something which is not supported by all the browsers. So probably uh, it's gonna take a lot of time for the browsers to implement. And at the same time, Cypress is already working on it to release the support in near future so it's going to be coming very soon as well well as that said can we achieve the xhr in selenium well of course yes we can achieve this using certain proxy server running and grabbing in hard files for retrieving the value so one of the popular tool is the browser mob proxy but it's really hard since you have to manually manipulate the har file read and parse it and also you need to assert the value after you read the value from the file and then you do sort of operations in there again it's kind of an external jar file keep on running as a proxy to listen like what's happening between your web server and your web browser and then you need to retrieve the value and then you have to do assertions it's kind of pain in the butt because selenium don't have an out of the box support of xhr rather you have to do it using some third party jar files and things of that nature but xhr is built in the core of cypress cypress makes it easy to test the entire life cycle of ajax and xhr request within your application cypress provides you direct access to the xhr object enabling you to make assertions about its properties. Additionally, you can even stub and mock a request response. That's really, really cool. And again, mocking of the stub and request and response is something that we will not be discussing in this particular season, at least season one. The reason is because the season one is more focused towards getting you understand how to work with Cypress and how to get things done with the Cypress. So we have been talking about Cypress, like more basic concepts, like how Cypress works and things of that nature. But there are some advanced concepts on Cypress where you can also work with the integration. And, you know, there are some places where you have to mock the request and responses. So those things we'll be discussing in our upcoming seasons, maybe before mid of this year or something like that. But as of now, this is what it is. But these are the things that you can achieve in Cypress already. So some of the common testing scenarios with Cypress recommends are like asserting on a request body, a request URL, request header, response body, and request status code, response header, and responses, and response to happens, and things of that nature. So you can do all sort of jazz using the Cypress own built-in features and they call it as route. So basically there is a method called side.route. route. So using side.route, route, we can perform all these operation. Well, as we know that there is something called as proxy is being coming in picture. Well, how to start the same operation in XHR, even though it's kind of built in the heart and soul of Cypress, like there should be some setup already, right? Well, it's very, very simple and straightforward. All you have to do is just start the server using side.server. server. That's it. And once you start that, 
then you can start routing and the routing is going to be looking very very simple and that will be discussing in this video but if you see the assertion of the routed value which is stored in the alias can be done something like this as you can see i can verify the status and its response and then response and its body and we can verify if that particular property has a max queue and things of that nature so we'll be discussing all sort of things in this particular video so let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work so for that i'm gonna flip to my chrome browser all right so this is my chrome browser and i'm gonna start working with the xhr but this time i'm actually not going to use our ea app rather i'm going to be using the lambda test website guys this is going to be something very very real time so i just want to make sure that you already know some of the concept of how to debug using chrome developer tool so all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to be working with this Lambda test application and I'm going to verify and see how I can actually perform certain operation which I cannot be able to perform using Selenium and also some other tools available in the market. So all I'm going to do is this. I am going to verify certain XHR requests and responses coming from the server and going through the browser. So if I just do an F12, I can open up this particular uh, Chrome developer console. And if I hit login, you can see that it is going to bring me a uh, certain operation over here. It's going to show me what are the different kinds of stuff which is happening behind the scene. So if I hit this login, you probably will see my password. So I'm not going to show you that. Rather, the one which I will be verifying this time is going to be on the this side. So as you can see, it shows me the graph on here and it shows me the team. So it's like a, a, like a URL, which is actually running through. And if you go to the preview and if you see what's really happening, so it shows me the email and it shows me the name and it shows me the role. So basically I am the admin of this particular portal. So you can also do some sort of role testing using this. So you can see that there is a role of admin and there is a username of uh, Karthik Tech Geek. So this is remove an ad from there and just brings me up the username there. So I just want to verify that if I use this username and password combination to log into my Lambda test website and I have to verify if that this user is actually has a role of admin and whether the server returns me what is the username and what is it last logged in and something last logged in and things of that nature. Right. You can also see that the last logged in is going to be something which is kind of changing, I guess. So every time you just refresh, the last logged in uh, will be updated, which is going to be coming from the server. And if you go here, you can see that it's saying that the last logged in is like one minute ago. So you can verify these kinds of stuff using the XHR. So which are something is not related to UI, but it's also not an API. It's actually an XHR which is happening behind the scene between your web browser and within your web server. So we'll be verifying this sort of operation in our Cypress feature, XHR feature of Cypress, which we'll be discussing in our next video.